Hey everyone, I hope all of you are having a wonderful day today and for today we are back in Valhalla because I'm going to be building a beaver habitat, more specifically a natural beaver habitat with two underwater viewing areas and a viewing area into the beaver lodge and if that wasn't already trying the little stretch of sanity that I've left, I also probably placed around 5,000 plants for this build so the real question here is did I have any sanity to begin with? Clear answer is no. Enjoy. <laughs> so when it came to this beaver habitat first of all I want to thank Frontier for giving me early access to the North America animal pack so that I could build this before the launch of the pack but when it came to the building off of this habitat as I said I wanted it to be a natural beaver habitat. I didn't want it to look like how you would find beavers in a zoo I wanted it to look like how you would find beavers out in the wild but then there's the viewing areas. You can't build underwater tunnels in Planet Zoo, so if I wanted to connect everything, it had to be basically lodged into the side of the river bank because it had to be kind of digged into the earth. But this also made it so that the layout of the habitat changed because the iconic thing or stereotypical thing or image that you would get when you think of Beaver Lodge is that island in the water or surrounded by water made out of sticks mud and wood but i couldn't do that because it had to be lodged into the river bank so yeah i lodged the beaver lodge into the river bank or into the side of the river bank just so that the viewing areas would work and then i can hear you say well poison why didn't you just drop the idea of the underwater viewing areas because I'm a stubborn ox and I want my viewing areas, I want to be able to see the beavers dive. And most specifically, the one thing that I wanted was the viewing area into the beaver lodge. So I was going to go through with this no matter what. <laughs> because again, I'm a stubborn, well I said ox, but it's supposed to be donkey, so... I'm just stubborn. But it in the end worked out well, the viewing areas I made into or the underwater viewing areas I made into just caves. I didn't really know what to do with them because they weren't supposed to be part of the lodge. Even though they connect into the lodge, they're not... Like, the beavers don't go into the viewing areas, of course, but, like, trying to, like, incorporate it all into a natural form. The beavers wouldn't use the viewing areas or the sides. I hope you get what I mean. <laughs> I don't think so, but... The viewing areas or the underwater viewing areas are caves and then they connect into the beaver lodge which has a viewing area into the lodge which is what I really wanted. The underwater viewing areas are just a, kind of an extra. But yeah when it came to the beaver lodge, oh well, let's just say it was, well at first it was difficult to make the lodge for the beavers but in the end it was surprisingly easy it just took a lot of time it was kind of tedious to make because first I well I did this with the caves as well I first made this layout of just earth because the these caves and the lodge like the the caves are not that far underground so you will find a lot of earth the beaver lodge is made out of mostly earth and wood and sticks so of course but the base of it was just these earth like they're supposed to be planted pieces but they work really well for other things as well but i made that first and then the trial came in when i wanted it to connect to the rest of the habitat because i looked up quite a few documentaries for beavers and just a little side tangent here i also looked up a lot of images for like beaver lodges and such why are they always taken in the fall like I would imagine that you would take more pictures in the summer because then like that's the time when you go out and everything but uh, like 80% of the images of like beaver lodges and dams are like taken in fall or at least seem to be taken in fall. Why? I have no idea. But anyway side tangent over there back to the documentaries on beavers. David Attenborough is a national, well not national, is an international treasure and he needs to be safeguarded at all times because damn that voice. Like I also started thinking of like if you melt or like mix David Attenborough's voice with Morgan Freeman's voice like what kind of godly being would you create with two, those two voices as like parents? Like how? We wouldn't be able to survive the 
godly being that you would create if you mixed Morgan Freeman's voice with David Attenborough's. This is also, I think, a side tangent. <laughs> anyway, back to the actual build, but again, David Attenborough is amazing and uh, just that voice. But back to the actual building, so what I learned from those documentaries was that the entrances of beaver lodges are usually, or I think like always, underwater so that the beavers can get into the beaver lodge, but any like predators can't. I also found out that other animals use beaver lodges for like shelter and such. One of those, I think, is otters. So I might drop some otters into this build as well, but then I have to find out if that's like... Like, other animals use beaver lodges, but I'm not sure if they are seen as like intruders by the beavers. Like, are the beavers aware that their lodge is being used by other animals? Or are they just like friendly roommates? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I have to find it out, but I would love to drop some otters in here as well, because... Right now, there's a full-scale war going on in my heart between otters and beavers for second place on my best Planet Zoo animals list. This is not because of any like new mechanics or such. Beavers don't add any new mechanics, which I'm actually fine with because as a builder, I want to build my own dams and lodges, but I can see why somebody who isn't a builder could be kind of annoyed and disappointed by this. But I just love beavers and I see others as like underwater squirrels, so they are fighting for second place, not first place, because first place is always going to be red pandas. I am very biased, red pandas are amazing. Maybe more amazing than David Attenborough. I have no idea why this video just turned into glorifying David Attenborough. But again, that voice. <laughs> anyway, Again, back to the build. So now I'm building the dam, which is the more iconic structure for beavers. Like when you think of beavers, you think of a dam. You not necessarily think as much of their lodge. Or like I used to actually think that the lodge was supposed to be like part of the dam. But it's not. The dam is just there so that the lodge is in water. So it it might actually make sense that like the lodge is still like lodged into the riverbank because the beavers make this artificial lake so the water is going to rise so eventually the lodge is going to be fully in the water so maybe this is just an early stage beaver habitat but i tried to make it as natural as possible so i really like i just took so many reference images or looked at so many reference images so many documentaries because i wanted this to look natural and then the pain of the plants came into being. Because I've recently seen a lot of pictures of people like making these really ultra realistic natural environments in Plant Zoo and I'm jealous. I I'm just going to admit that because like when it comes to plants and such I have like a technique that I get do and just like it it's fast and there's not as much plants. But it's also not like as like ultra realistic as these people make it. I think Romano is one of them. But oh damn, I was just jealous. And then I tried to just go ultra heavy with the plants myself. And yeah, if I continue with this, Valhalla is going to die. It's going to cry because there's, as I said, there's like 5,000 or even more plants here. I love this like hydrilla grass. I think it's hydrilla grass, but it's one of the plants that came with the aquatic pack. So yes, this habitat is built with other packs as well because it's part of Valhalla. So it's not its own build. Like I don't... Well, actually, I am thinking of like building beaver lodges to put on a workshop, like a small, medium, large one. So that you don't have to make those yourself because, as you can see, it's a lot of work. <laughs> because you basically have to have this like underlying structure and then just put so many logs on top of it. And then it just, it takes a lot of time. Not as long as all of the plants did, because I'm not going to show you guys all of the plants that I placed. Because I didn't use the standard Planet Zoo grass, I always used 
those aquatic pack hydrilla plants and I love how it looks. My PC is probably not loving it as much, but this was just like, this is what happens when you make poison angry or jealous. Yeah, Romano, I know that you take pictures out in, in the real world and then Photoshop them to be Planet Zoo. You're not fooling me. I'm joking. He, he makes ama amazing landscapes and I'm jealous and... When Poison gets jealous, he tries and, well, somewhat succeeds. I don't think it's as amazing as Romano can make it, but I damn tried. But now we've come at the end of the speed build, so let's switch over to the tour of the finish build and my pain with all of those plants. I needed a little bit of an ego boost, so of course I'm showing you guys one of the best views of the beaver habitat. We have the beaver lodge here, we have the dam here, and somewhere in all of this there's two beavers. Let's try and find those. But yeah, I didn't show you at like even a half of all the plants that I've built. Planet Zoo doesn't love all of these plants, and so I hope that it will remain as stable as possible but there might be some hiccups but i can already see one beaver and i think i see a second one coming there but that might also be a log because i've placed some logs in the water because of course that's what beavers do you will find actually a lot of stumps surrounding there hey there's a beaver there <laughs> so there's there and there usually animals try to hide as soon as i tune on the camera or turn on the camera I can't speak today, but that's the usual. But yeah, there's so many plants here. And I hope I made Romano proud. I have not told him in any way about this. Because I don't want to show how jealous I am of his skills when it comes to landscaping. And just making these ultra realistic I'm in a tree landscapes. Of course, it's a poison blade tour when I glitch into a tree or go through a tree. Because I just want the views, like all of these, just with the waterfall. So in the background, there's also a hint to like how much the water level has risen because of these beavers. Hi, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, but yeah, the beavers, I love them. Again, they are vying for the second place um, along, well, against others on my best Planet Zoo animals list. But that's just because I love beavers, not because of mechanics or anything. And there's also, this is just a little tidbit, but there's a vent. Or at least I put a smoke effect on top of the beaver lodge. Which is realistic because there needs to be, like, ventilation and air, well, not air conditioning, but ventilation. Because otherwise... Beaver lodges would turn into ovens real quick. So I have seen this in a documentary where there was hot air coming out of the top of a beaver lodge. So it is natural. And he is probably going to run away. Because as soon... Yep, there he goes. As soon as they get on, on the river bank, they just run. They book it. <laughs> but yeah, so as you can see, there's a lot of stumps. I don't know where that second beaver has gone off to. Uh, he was somewhere over there, but we will never know because they disappear on me. Like most other YouTubers, their animals just start shitting themselves when the camera turns on. For me, they just book it. So I sometimes put animals in habitats and you will never see them. Because they are all camera shy, just like me. Anyway, going into the actual viewing areas. So as I said, I wanted the first one to kind of look like a cave. So here we have the underwater section. And here you get a hint of where the water level used to be. Because these stumps, like I used them to indicate like, oh, the water used to be much lower. Like the artificial lake that these beavers have created is so high that the former stumps are all below water now. So this used to be like a tiny stream. 
you can't see the beavers right now because they just run. They book it whenever I turn the camera on. Then there's this little... Again, plants who really doesn't like it when I play so many plants. But you go around. I try to get this like natural look with like the dirt and then the roots coming through. Some stalagmites or stalactites. I think it's like tights when it's up from the ground like this. It's mites when they're hanging down. Or the complete opposite. I don't ask me for any information on that. Always take whatever I say with a grain of salt. Do your own research because I'm a dumbass. Also, hi. Thank you for clipping through that lock. But then we get into the viewing areas into the beaver lodge. Hey, a beaver just went away. So let's just go quickly into it. So yeah, as I said, the tunnels into the beaver lodge, they are supposed to be completely underwater. But with the diving mechanics, that wouldn't really work. So they wouldn't be able to get in here. So it's kind of above water, or at least there's this opening still. I also couldn't place like all of the locks in the beaver lodge because then the hitbox of the beavers like again it would be unreachable or untraversable for them so i try to place as many locks as i can with this still being usable and as you can see or as you could see with that beaver just going away because again whenever i turn the camera on they just book it but it is usable so yeah there's a viewing area into the lodge because i always like i don't i don't really care actually for it that much for underwater viewing i just like to look into their sleeping area i am not a creep i i just like to see especially when it comes to beavers and like seeing burrows i like to see like underground burrows so that's why i made this and just because i wanted to and then we go into the second underwater viewing area which is again this more cave-like approach here i didn't place any stumps because you don't really see that much here and the beavers aren't like, they don't really go here. They You really see them at the first viewing area. But it, at this one, you don't really. And here is where the magic breaks. Because this is uh, basically the end of the area that I've built. Again, with all of the plants that I've placed, I am actually so surprised that I could do a lot of this. But with this area... I have no idea what I'm actually going to place here. I think moose, because it's large enough for them to have like a very natural looking habitat. So it would either be moose or... I don't see cougars here, but let me get, know what you guys think I should place here. But there's going to be a little bit of like a water area, because of course we have these waterfalls. So I hope I made Romano proud. Maybe as them, but they're tiny waterfalls. But again, I placed so many plants like there's no natural grass here at any point it's all of these plants which i really like when it comes to valhalla canamashar i'm probably not going to ask crazy with the plants because i don't think canamashar needs the help in incinerating my pc there's another beaver well there's two here so i just i love these guys Can we pause it? Yeah, I know you're angry when I place the camera on top of you. Because you book it. But there's a just... I, I just love beavers for whatever reason. Well, they are builders like me, so that's another reason. They're kind of derpy. I don't think they're floofy. Like, I think their coat is a little bit more, like, uh, sturdy. I don't know what the right word for it is, but it's not, like, soft. I think i think maybe that's just because they're usually wet but yeah so where did that beaver go oh we can see him dive now come on look at this little boss he looks like a teddy bear <laughs> so yeah this is one time that you could see him actually at this viewing area All right, <laughs> magical beavers. <laughs> uh, there's always going to be a little bit of a glitchiness there. So let's hide the UI again. But yeah, this is basically what I've been working on for two days straight. 
let's also cancel that he's not outlined anymore. So what do you guys think? I'm probably also going to again put in some cinematic shots because I'm egotistical like that. If I am very happy with something that I've built or very proud, I am going to shove it in your face. But that's probably going to be the tour for today. So yeah, what do you guys think of this new approach to Valhalla with all of these plants? Again, inspired by Romano. I'm not at all jealous of him. I am very jealous of him. Because he can make these amazing landscapes and I have no idea how he does it. But yeah, next habitat. Let me guys know what you, you guys want to see in that habitat. I am thinking of moose. Just because the area is like large enough and secluded enough for moose. So, yeah. I don't think it's like arctic fox there. Like it's too large for an arctic fox. But then the next habitat might still be an arctic fox because... I might want to build something smaller after all of this. So let's stop the tour at just a thumbnail image because I've made the thumbnail before I made this tour. So I know it's going to be somewhere like this. So yeah, that's going to be it for the tour. Again, I'm going to put in some cinematics because I'm egotistical like that and I'm going to shove it in your face and you're going to enjoy it because otherwise there's going to be an angry beaver at your door at night although some of you might actually like that so hope you enjoyed today's video if you did there is the like and subscribe button if you want to see more and then there is also the notification button if you want to be updated or notified whenever for something happens on the channel but then that button is as broken as my sanity have a wonderful day, guys, and see ya!